A months long rent strike has escalated. About 100 tenants from the city's east end are taking a stand against substantial rent increases. They've already been withholding rent since May and today rallied at their landlord's offices demanding fair treatment and affordable housing. In a show of solidarity, dozens of tenants stormed their landlord's offices in the middle of the workday Tuesday. Demanding Starlight Investments stop what's being described as unreasonable and unfair rent hikes that tenants simply cannot afford. Extremely struggling. It's, it's, we understand it's everything expensive, everything the, the rent is going higher, but we don't ask them to make it low, just to make to make it fair for us and for them. It's they agree that in a savage way. Tenants at 71, 75 and 79 Thorncliffe Park Drive in Toronto are being asked to pay an almost 10% rent increase over two years, 4.2% in 2022 and 5.5% this year, well above the province's 2.5% annual rent increase guideline. This time it's too high actually and we cannot afford it. We are all you know, uh, low income to middle income families and uh, it's getting very hard on us financially. How has it affected your day-to-day -day life, these, these increases? Yes, uh, it's a big, big amount for us. Uh, we are on a basic wages. This has really pushed you to your limits? Yes, it is, big time. Any response to them saying they're using that money to make improvements to the building? The one improvement they do, they make the buildings shiny and nice from outside as a mirror and full of bed bugs cockroaches, broken cabinet, broken floors inside. The buildings have been painted white outside, but inside the living conditions are extremely bad. In a statement, Starlight Investments tells us we will meet our obligations and remain as committed to protecting tenants' rights as we are to enforcing residential contracts. This applies to our commitment to reinvesting in our communities and ensuring that the buildings themselves continue to meet the needs of today's renters and our residents of the future. How dare a company that makes billions of dollars tries to squeeze money out for renovation? They knew they had to do before they bought the building. A rally organizer tells us eviction notices have been sent out to tenants who are withholding rent. Instead of you know withdrawing the above guideline rent increases or even meeting with tenants as a group to negotiate, Starlight and PSP have made the decision to try to evict Thorncliffe Park families. Many tenants in the buildings have lived there for 10, 20, 30 years. It's their home, it's their community. Are you worried at all about the eviction notices that have been going out? Uh, yes. The eviction hearings are still months away, many of them scheduled for December. Advocates say more rallies will be organized as needed. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.